Welcome to Azure Coding. This video will show you how to take a screenshot using vb.net and save that image to your computer. I'll also show you how to add a delay before the screenshot is taken. This is part 1 of 2. In part 2, I'll explain how to select a region of the screen to capture as opposed to taking a screenshot of the entire screen, along with a few other things. So I've started by creating a new form called Screenshot. I'm now going to add a picture box control where the screenshot will go. I also need to set the background image layer property to zoom so that the image fits inside the box. And now I need two buttons, one for taking the screenshot and one for saving it. I'm also going to add a label, a timer and a numeric up-down control for the delay. With the numeric up-down control, I'm going to set a maximum value of 10 seconds, but you can set it to whatever value you want. And now it's onto the code. So for the first button, which is for taking the screenshot, I've set the interval or the delay for the timer here. Because the interval property is in milliseconds and our numeric up-down shows seconds, I need to multiply that by a thousand. And the reason I've set the interval to 100 here is because I always want to use the timer1 tick sub shown here instead of duplicating the code. So you can set the interval to 0 and that's why it's something very small like 100. And while we're waiting for it to take the screenshot, I've changed the text of the form to loading. Then down here in the timer1 tick sub, this line sets the boundaries for the screenshot. Here I've just taken the boundaries of the primary screen but if a user has multiple monitors, you might want to consider using all screens, which is an array of all the screens available. But to keep it simple, I'll just focus on the main screen. The code then takes the screenshot and adds it to the picture box. I've set the text back to screenshot, and I also disable the form during the delay because we don't want the user to click on take screenshot again. Then for the save button, this bit here will get the user's pictures directory to save the screenshot into. But of course you can change this to whatever you want, or even add a save dialog which will let the user choose a file location and file name. Ok, let's test it and see if it works. So if I set a delay of 5 seconds and click on take screenshot, as you can see the form is disabled and the loading text appears at the top. And there we go. Now if you want to save the screenshot, you can see it's been placed in a folder. And that's it for part 1. Join me again for part 2 where I'll show you how to allow the user to select a region of the screen to capture, as opposed to the entire screen, along with a few other things to improve the application. A link to the part 2 video will be at the end of the video, and also in the description. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you soon.